Before there were state stormwater regulations, some residential developments in Clark County were built with rooftop downspouts that connected to the street curb, known as a weep hole. In this type of system, stormwater can run unabated and untreated to local streams. A lot of people don't think of themselves as a polluter, but we all are. We do have potential pollutants. We treat our roofs, those of us who get moss issues, we treat them with products that are rich in zinc. Zinc's one of our uh, contaminants we find most common in stormwater. Stormwater management practices to reduce volume and pollution from going into waterways has evolved over the past two decades. Where once rainwater was channeled into large detention ponds to let pollutants settle and allow the water to slowly seep out, more recent low impact developments keep stormwater on site and allow it to naturally filter back into the ground. We'd rather have it drop on the ground and go right back in to replenish groundwater and those types of things. It's much easier to manage in that way than once it gets all concentrated in a large volume that you have to deal with. Focusing on homes built between 1960 and 2000, Clark County is partnering with the Clark Conservation District to pilot the Downspout Disconnect program. The region targeted is about 12 square miles and includes four neighborhoods in the I-5 and I-205 area. It's, it's got a lot of density. They were built at a time when they had a downspout exiting at the street. Rather than have the water flow that way, the downspout disconnect then allows the water to, to flow over the overland surface and be recharging groundwater directly. For homeowners interested in the downspout disconnect program, staff will make a site visit to ensure that the soil, slope, and area are suitable for dispersing stormwater. Besides a splash block, there are other creative ways to disperse water on your property, such as rain barrels or rain gardens. Through a grant, eligible homeowners can be reimbursed $60 for each downspout that is disconnected up to a maximum of $240. This grant program is run through the Lower Columbia Fish Recovery Board. The focus of this grant program is to mitigate or compensate for uh, the negative impacts of stormwater on streams. So whether that is treatment of pollution or excess flows that get into the stream, and both of those have, have significant impacts. For each home that disconnects its downspouts, the county estimates that 33,000 gallons of stormwater will be diverted away from local streams. Which again is a reason that we focus on individual homeowners and so if you put a, a hundred homes together, you can actually make a pretty good dent in drainage from that area. For more information or to see if you are eligible for the Downspout Disconnect program, go to Clark County Public Works webpage at clark.wa.gov downspout.